What's going on, Shrewdness? My name is Cam. I hope you guys are having a great day. And in today's video, we're going to do a nice little update on the Russell 2000, also known as ticker symbol IWM. We're going to break this down technically in its long-term point of view, even bring it into our intraday technical analysis to see what we're rocking for the day. And then we're going to bring the flow of those calls and puts over while we also bring that short interest data towards the end of the video. So if you want to stay tuned for that, keep those eyes peeled. We're going to get behind the scenes and what these slimy, oh, grimy short sellers are doing in IWM's float. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and get right on into the video. So as of right now, of course you haven't broken out yet, but today's market is more about reacting to moves rather than predicting the moves, right? So with you being up here at the high point on the day, I'm calling the Russell 2000 a massive establishment a value, a huge value alert. You've broken over your pivotal area on the day, which was around the prices of $204. And with you being above that on the day, this is a very pivotal time. We're looking for any sort of Nike check mark, just an establishment of support by the end of the day to indicate that we're able to stay above this. Uh, this should be able to send us into some deep, deep bullish territory. But there are some signs that you need to pay attention to in its technical setup. So this indicator down here is called the standard deviation. It tracks your volatility. And you can see that whenever you get volatile as of back then, it sent your IWM higher. Volatile right here, sent it higher, higher, higher. And then finally, your volatility started to just crust over. It really did. And then it started just to increase rapidly again. The difference was, as in this time around, the volatility was spiking the IWM lower in price. So it was hard to see any sort of bullish trend in this setup. This is something you need to pay attention to because your volatility is still extremely low as you're trying to break out into a bullish trend. Uh, there's a lot of signs pointing towards this being a little bit of a bad thing in IWM's float, but this is on the daily candles. So by the end of the week, when this daily candle closes, you want to see if this starts to increase at all before the end of the week. Bring it into your four hour candle standpoint, and you can see that it's starting to increase, but not enough to indicate a massive change in the daily candles. So. Along with price action, make sure your volatility is starting to increase, especially if you're entering into a bullish trend. If you do break out from this current level on the day to see higher prices by the end of the week, there are signs pointing towards $210 being your hit. If we can bring you into your intraday activity, of course, this is our high point. We're expecting to hit support down there to see some strength, but you might not even get there, right? Just continue with strength until the end of the day. That would also be a pretty massive indication towards a continuance of strength ahead. Basing off of your analysis, your inflow and outflow over the past few trading days, there's a lot of indecisiveness. And on a breakout day, you would think that there would be a lot more buying. But let me tell you one thing, there was a lot of that buying and it was down here during this trading activity. So they're trading the day like today as a sell the top day. The same bulls that entered this morning are selling the top by the end of the day, which is one indication as to why you might have a hard time, but you still want to hold your support by the end of the day. All signs point towards go in the IWM's float. Just make sure regardless of price activity, your volatility is on your side. And also with you paying attention to your trends and patterns, you want this to be a breakout. If you do reject off of that 210 point, let's say theoretically you do, it would make sense for you to hit this as support before you start back into your bullish trend. With this being said, let's just go ahead and bring the flow of these calls and puts to see what we're rocking with in regards to this week's options data. With the IWM trading at around $205 on the day, looking like it's trying to cap out, you can see that the max pain this week points towards 210 being hit. And to a lot of people, this just doesn't make any sense. How? After all of this red, how in the hell could we just flip from bearish to bullish? in a snap of a finger. Well, let me tell you one thing, right? There's a lot of retail investors in this market. Um, retail participation is still high even after this recent pullback in prices. And you can see that because of this being the case, a lot of the people that are still in this market are bearish. And even in the IWM, there are almost double the amount of puts placed this week than calls. So bearish sentiment is flying through the roof and people as of today are still expecting prices to curl back lower. So 
In order for anybody to make money in the market, there's gotta be a loser on the other side of the trade. And as of recently, a lot of the retail investors that were bullish at the top of the market, same thing with the S&P 500, bullish at the top of the market, ended up going bearish at the bottom. Now, I don't know if it was the noise. I don't know if it was the fear, the uncertainty. So usually with it being retailers, the ones that are being not really attacked, but just kind of persuaded to do things that they probably wouldn't want to do. Usually they're the ones that get the short end of the stick and it's sad and it shouldn't be that way, but it's always been that way. And unfortunately with a lot of retailers fighting for a difference, including myself, it's gotten better, but they're still up to the same tactics they've been at. And with a lot of the retailers going bullish at the top and bearish at the bottom, of course you're gonna fly and see some sort of breakout from here. Now, it might not be once again with a lot of strength because your volatility is low. Just make sure that if you are going from bearish to bullish in this market, it should have been when you were down here in this weakness. There's a lot of people making and establishing bullish positions right here, right now. And of course, you might see a little bit of green, but this turbulation in this market, it's not over. Your volatility is still high. Of course, it's starting to pull back market wide getting into a more calm environment, but there's still a lot of people trying to time this market left and right, up and down. And of course you can do that to an extent, but if you get one trade that doesn't play out in your favor, it, it tends to murk you in your PL. So make sure you to not do anything that you wouldn't regularly do. And you should be a-okay when you're at your high points and when you're buying into the weakness at your low points. When it comes to IWM's short interest data, the short sellers are track stars today. Fantastic. There's actually way more returned on the day than borrowed on the day. So in plain English, the short sellers have been using this recent pullback in IWM's float as a reason to get out of their bearish positions. Rather than continuously adding to them to keep you down at a lower price, some are getting the sentiment that, hey, this might be the lowest the prices might be able to go. So let's treat this as a reason to get out of our bearish position. We were just like 45% short not too long ago, 43 to be exact. And as of right now, we're 38 and still falling even on a day like today. Uh, short sellers are track stars. They've been track stars for around a week or so. And you can tell that in the stock market, you're starting to get the higher prices because of that removal of selling. It's beautiful. It's fantastic. And it's exactly what you need to see as a bull in today's stock market. Other than that though, if you're here right now watching the stream, make sure to like, subscribe, share, hit that bell as well. It'll help me out more than you can even imagine. It truly will. Hey, it might help you out as well too, dog. Get some more faces in the channels, the streams, the videos on a day-to-day -day basis to see some of your favorite stocks, maybe the IWM, at the valuations they're at right now. Get more people to bat an eye towards the stream, the videos, the channels on a day-to-day -day basis so they can trade along with the shrewd gang and make some money, invest into themselves with education and time, and become a better trader and investor because of it. Other than that though, Shrewd Gang, I'll catch y'all boys. Please stay safe out there so I can see you guys tomorrow. Peace out to... Uh... Shrewd.